<laughs> right. Yeah, I know. That's why I said. Right. I'll see you in the boat, guys. Yeah. All good luck and have fun. Suspiciously quiet. He's got something up his sleeve. Yep. Hello! You, I didn't probably scare you, but who cares? Welcome everyone once again. This is Formula 4. Yes, you heard me right. We're here. We're here once again. It's a new week. It's new everything, but he, we are here. Today, we're at the proper channel. Wow. <laughs> that, that is just such a bad intro, isn't it? Uh, but, yeah. But here we are for Formula 4 from China. We are getting ready to start the cars here at Shanghai. Last week we saw a f epic finale as it was actually really close. So, we are here in Shanghai. Uh, I better stop singing. Oof. I just better stop.
But here we go. This is Formula 4. This is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oops, a bit of a fail, basically. Uh, but... <coughs> we are a way to... Start the race. Well, not even start the race. More like... Just getting the build up. So here we go in Shanghai. The cars are coming out on track. We need to find someone who is coming out. Musical Venom is out. Um, oh. <coughs> Let me just quickly do something. Uh, also, I am still a tiny bit ill. So I hope you don't mind, guys. But nevertheless, I am here today. Uh, my mic is on. I was just checking in case. And yeah. <laughs> Let me go on to my stream and just look at the chat. Here we go. Random is a pound on the back straight and yes he is, he's on a long DRS straight which is over one kilometer long. He has a force thing there behind him. I believe this is Lars Gaming. Yes, it is. Lars Gaming is going to fall back at any bit just to get a, just not to be in Venom's way as he doesn't want any cars ahead of him. As Venom is coming through the final corner, loses the tiny bit of backhand, but now starts his lap in Shanghai. We are all green to go, and we are starting into turn one. Really nice flowing has to be taken through here as he goes a bit. D but gets a better run for the slower curve and then the second part of the first corner sections is actually pretty nice going into third and then six section one split and then to fourth turn I know any of those corners names so don't question me okay but when what did he set in sector one <coughs> it wasn't the worst of sectors it's 24 9 while well, large gaming 24 8 so at 10, separate the two. Frizu 24-6. Two times faster than his team and Grumpy 24-5. So Frizu is so Grumpy looks really fast. 24-6 from flying through. 24-5 from Cheater Cheater. I believe this is the way the cars actually uh, said just now on track. Venom across the final corner onto the main straight opens the DRS and sets a 23 4. Malk is currently <coughs> on track. Large Gaming 33 7. Where is. Let's, let's actually look on board with Grumpy. Let's go on with Grumpy. Through the final corner, lose the backhand 32 7 from Frizo. Grumpy! doesn't improve i believe he might have invalidated his lap or the run for the final corner definitely not benefited him where's counter pull position uh quite hard to tell but it's a 33 8 cheater had a yeah so the last corner definitely been uh made it worse um what 25 flat from malk Oh wait. Who? Right here we go. Freezer's on pole position just now, so let's keep that in mind. So Grumpy not 
not bad actually, he's third. Throne goes into P4, 33 5. But Grumpy's might be on, on another lap. And it looks like he is. Let's see what he can do. No, Grandpa is not on a lap, so flying from on a lap, I think. <laughs> this is the point where I just want to question myself just now. And he goes into the pits following Mr. Grumpy. Cheater, cheater. Follows them into the pit as well. Freezing in the pit. Same home. Five, just under six minutes to go. It's Simo is on a lap. He has to do a decent lap to keep Renault in a good position as they are currently really bad in the championship. They had one car not, fin not receiving points last race and that is not what they wanted so Hello Kevin. <coughs> so this is not what Reno really wants. And you need Simo to do really well to keep Reno alive. So what can he do? Oh he has a curve I didn't re I didn't really see what happened there, but definitely not too good. So what will it be if someone goes wide and it's P something? <laughs> I don't know. Dave Javu's ghosting. Uh, Craig is actually on the lap. Let's follow him. Oh, Craig, really nice flowing actually. Going really fast. Haig finally found some speed, it's good to hear Craig. Uh, Haig. I nearly called you Craig because I looked on my screen. But, neither less. We are following Craig on his lap. What can he do? Let me actually check Craig's lap time, uh, sector time, sorry. Craig, where is he? Freezes Colonel on pole position, 32-7. 24-7 and 38-3. Ooh, yeah. Way slower than Freezo. Oh, and Craig is round. Craig spins off to Narnia. Too much power on the throw. <coughs> no, too much. Power on acceleration and that spins him around. Blue Mosquito is coming out, I believe. LFC is still in the pit. Sab, who is in the wrong car, I think, uh, is coming out. Everyone's coming out, basically. Except Simo, he's going in. He will chuck a new set of tires and then just go out again. Haig is out of fuel, so he might not get another lap in. Clyde is currently out on track. Well, coming out. Everyone's coming out. Lars Gaming through the final corner. Is he on the lap already? And he improves to P. What? Okay, he just started his lap. I'm on this. Okay, he. Okay, makes sense.
Lars on the long DRS trait, so let's see, let's see. Over the DRS, obviously, he wouldn't. But what can Lars do going into the fi uh, penultimate corner? Fans are cheering him up as he goes round <coughs> to go into the final corner and see what he can do on his lap. Here's round and he goes P11. Well, not P actual P11, but what is it? Um, we're kind of having issues with telemetry, so um, I'm texting our the main guy to fix it. Hey, thirty-three two, where he goes? Where? <laughs> hey, still in tenth. So let me think. Oh, look at this. This is back to. Uh, is it? <laughs> and I'm getting a phone call from someone. Oh, this is so annoying. So this is the pole position here. A 32-7 has been set by Frizo. So who's on who's actually where? I don't get. Frizo is kind of full position. He's here. 32777. So he didn't improve. He was improving a lot in sector one though. 326 from Mr. Grumpy! He goes full position. <coughs> Wall up from Mr. Grumpy to take pole position. Who do I like in F1 1017? Uh, I'm a Vettel, Vettel fan, but I like Ricardo as well. There are several drivers who I like, but I'm a Vettel, I'm a Vettel fan, so... Well, mo mostly. I like Hulkenberg, I like uh, Alonso, I like... Uh, what's his name? I can't remember the guy's name. <coughs> oh. Is it bad that I can't remember the, the driver's names? Is it that bad now? Oh my god, I can't remember the guy's name! <laughs> Basically, I mainly support Vatsal, but also I like... Uh, Alonso, Massa, Esch, um, <coughs> Hulkenberg, And that's really it. But here we go. This is the qualifying results. Mr. Grumpy will be starting on pole position here today with Frizo talk. With Frizo alongside him on the front row. With going to the down the rest of the grid, we have Cheater, Cheater, and Flying Throw starting third and fourth. Warren Haig and Musical Venom on the third row. 
Blue Mosquito being top soft runner of a Flowers gimmick alongside. Dave Javu and Malk are runs up the top 10 with two Scots, Clyde and Craig. 11 and 12, and then uh, let me double check. Then we have LFC in 13th. Uh, Sabin 14th, Edge Simo on Sars, but 15th and 16th, and Mike to not sell up. Shit. I just fucked up. I was too busy looking back on the stream, who was where, and I m missed this stupid <coughs> FA graphics. Oh, well, it's not end of the world, but meh. But we are getting ready to start Formula 4 here at Shanghai. <laughs> It says close free zone. It says indeed, but here we go. With five red lights. Here at Shanghai. <coughs> it's lights out and off we go racing. Mr. Grumpy has a really good run off the grid. Into turn one. He tries to defend from Frizo, who is in second. Fro, meanwhile, will be trying to look on a move. On Cheater Cheater. Frizo alongside and it's contact between the two of them. Cheater Cheater gets Clyde in it. This is a... <coughs> No, I'm not even joking. Last race, last race we had Frizo and Grumpy making contact. Same here today. Grumpy is in a wall. What is going on? Disastrous for Grumpy and Frizo once again. They're just not having any luck. Clyde is spinning around as well. Mike up into point 14. Source but in 13. Mike will have a better run here coming into the S's. And we'll try on the double right-hander there, so LFC going really slow, don't know what happened to him. But we have Sab in 11th, H Simo up into P10, so really good start from him. This is really, all really going close. I'm not even gonna lie about it. The P5 to P9 are separated by about a second between each other. And it is a second indeed. But now we have Craig having a... Malk actually having a move on Flying From. Up ahead is Blue Mosquito trying to move on M L uh, Musical Venom into this hairpin. And Mal goes a bit wide but gets the move done. So From down into P6 of Cheater having a shocker of a star. But Blue Mosquito didn't get. How many Hake is in the lead with the race? What's that from him? But Blue Mosquito is behind Venom so he didn't get the move done. So Venom must have got back on him. As Malk is up into P4, Cheater goes a bit wide. Where's From? What happened to Flying From? Ah, he's in the pits for a front wing change. <coughs> Mark into P11. So, where is Simo? He's into P8. So, From not having any luck once again. Dave Javu up into P7. Craig in P6 following Cheater. <laughs> As a bit of lag from Cheater, but I think that's because I was changing screens. It does happen when you change screens, so... Deja Vu goes really wide and that lets Simo close in. So maybe uh, from wing issue for Deja Vu as he's really looking to struggle for the t uh, cornering uh, angle. It really looks like it. But we go up and I've scrolled too much as Craig is up the inside of... Cheater, cheater, they collide together a wee bit, and it's really close. P5 to P8 once again. We obviously remember Craig got, didn't get managed to pass Dave Javu on the line last uh, last race. As they're going to go two by two. This is going to be textbook. Ah, look at this. Dev Javu moves along, H Simo onto the outside. What can Simo do? Right the outside, he goes. H Simo gets a beautiful move done. Beautiful move from H Simo. And it's a slide from Simo, and he's run into the wall after such a beautiful move. Oh, what happened to him here? After such a beautiful move, Frizo. Randall, so he goes as Mike breaks a bit early. 
Freezer trying to hang around but doesn't make it I have to stick back for P9. H Simov was disqualified from the session as he was trying to go back into the pit. Disastrous for H Simo after making such a beautiful move. I'm really sad to see him disqualified after all this. As Freezer is trying to work his way up the grid once again. As Mike is busting Sap, Sap looks to be really struggling for grip just now. <coughs> and same with Mike to be honest compared to Freezer. Freezer really closed in to Deja Vu as well. So Sab, Mike and Deja Vu all carrying each other to close up to Deja Vu. Who seems to be struggling as well. Obviously DRS is now enabled so there will be a slip, uh, DRS fast as Blue Mosquito got past. I actually love this. McLaren has a different car noise. Every car has... Yeah, every car has different noises. And let's go on board with Mike as Frizo. This is gonna be really close. This is will be free wide into the hairpin. Frizo on the inside of Mike into a 180 corner. <coughs> has to stay behind. As he wasn't gonna be able to make three cars wide. Has to hold back for a second the area zone. DRS are open, but he is a bit farther back this time. So maybe if he didn't try and go on the inside into a 180 degree corner, he would have managed to get worked here. But now he has to stay back for P9, battling for P8 as P7 and P6 are up ahead not too far. So potential battle for P6 right here between five cars as Frome goes fastest on the medium. <coughs> tires excuse me I still got a bit of cough but it's not as worse as last time round on my other channel as I was an idiot but, but you know um, Cla Grumpy says the fast up of the race where is Grumpy actually he is getting close to Cheater so Cheater pitted so we see Frome, Cheater and Grumpy all people who we really were looking forward to look in this race as LFC is cashing up to Mr. Grumpy so Haig look the former well, the current F4 champion is kind of pulling away from Blue Mosquito who gained, who was second last week with a beautiful one-top strategy around Bahrain. And, oh god. Freezer once again. Oh, this is not a good camera. There we go, that's bare ass. Real defensive move from <coughs> Deja Vu Sap on the outside will go, will he make H Simo's move? It looks like he's going for it. It looks like he's going for it. There's five cars ever by a second as Mike picks up P7. And Sab is now going to be blocking Frizo. Cla this is really close. Five cars are battling it out. Deja Vu is leading this pack of Mike and Seven. <coughs> Sab in the middle of all this. Mike goes really wide as Sab picks up P7. Really between close between Max from wing and Sab's rear wing, but Freezer picks up P9 as Clyde moves back into P10. Mike on the inside goes for a launch on Sab, gets him done, but oh, there's contact between the two. Sab hits Mike's rear and that sets him back a little bit as Clyde goes past Freezer. This is just not a good day for Freezer. He is getting ping punked throughout the entirety of the race. Just literally ping ponged around the track. I mean, it is a bit funny, but still, like, it's really annoying for Frieza because he was second. Light on Sab into the hairpin. He will go try it into 180 corner. Sab tries to defend round the outside, but Clyde gets a move done for P8. Freezer goes wide. <coughs> Simo obviously being really frustrated and. 
seeing his frustration in the chat. <coughs> Frizo and Froma are apparently in the pits. No, from the pit. Oh wait, that could be Simu's car actually. I think it is. I'm really not sure what's going on with this film show just now as it's playing about a little bit. But Clyde pulled away from Saab is definitely significantly seen as Saab getting pressured from Frieza behind. Dave Javu obviously will try and defend from Mike, but it's too late. Mike gets a move done with just pure DRS. But Dave Javu will try and defend. Will he go up the inside into the hairpin? No, he won't. He will stay back, maybe waiting for that DRS zone to be given to him. He waits for it, but he has a poor run, which leaves Mike pulling away now as Frizo is having a. No, he's too far back. He doesn't even have DRS open. Oh, and let's go back as Flying Froome and Cheater battling out for P13 outside the points, but what a battle this could be to really tough challengers. Cheater obviously winning in Bahrain, Froome having really good race, but then getting disconnected and couldn't rejoin back. This is looking really bad for Froome just now, but and really bad for Cheater as well as he was leading not even leading, more, yeah, he was leading the championship, this, uh, <coughs> uh, he is still leading it, but after this race, this could change over if Blue Mosquito gets a real nice points compared, Blue Mosquito could actually top the driver's championship after today, if he keeps in second, and look at this, Lars Gaming on source pod. just looking for a source pod, obviously defending as best as he can, Cheater and Froome are close behind, this is for just one point. Sorsberg goes really wide. Rejoin the track. Lars on the inside will go and gets a move down. He goes extremely deep and has to let all three cars through. Okay, there we go. Blue Mosquito is actually leading the race. They just tuned in. Freeze of Venom in the pits. Um, I can see Flight from up the inside of Sourcepit as he goes extremely deep. And Cheater and Throne got past Sourcepit. Four points. <coughs> so they're both into the point zone. But Blue Mosquito currently leading the race. Let's, so let's go back to him. As he's on soft tire compound. So he will go until lap 13 maybe. Musical Venom is currently in second with Mark Ford. Craig didn't create there into fourth, Mike up into fifth, and Clyde up in sixth. <coughs> let me currently, let me quickly post the link to the stream in. Uh, obviously in Twitter. Let me just do that fairly quickly as we can walk. Let's actually go into a battle. See who's battling. Lars Gaming against Source, but Frome against Cheater, maybe? Nope, a bit farther back now. Saab and Born Haig. The F4 champion battling out for P7. Fairly easy move. <coughs> Haig has to defend now. And he is now pulling away. 
Greg up into P3 and Malk is up in second so far. Let me just quickly pause here. Well, let me just quickly pause this. There we go, I've tweeted it. <coughs> Malka still in second. Mike is up into Warren Haig apparently gone fastest of the race at 36 2 on Super Soft. So, obviously, some really decent pace on those Super Soft tires so far, working out for the F4 champion, trying to defend his title this season. He had a really bad race, and my phone nearly dropped. Ugh. In uh, Bahrain, but now he seems to be getting back. A sub is into P6, obviously, the fast up of the race for himself at 38. 8. Uh, well, Musical Vanna and Craig both pitted. 8 Simo is out of the race. The only retirement for today. Battle between Venom and Craig, I can see that on the cemetery for P10. So that's for the outside as Venom defines the inside line into 180 corner. <coughs> oh, Venom just gives Craig a laugh tap and forces him to go a bit wide, but nothing affected here as Craig has a really good run. Craig will most likely to get him here. Unless Venom defends really well, it's fake to the outside and goes into the inside line for turns one and two. But here goes Craig on the inside. Can he do it? Can he get P10? As Venom, Venom goes for the inside of turn two but doesn't get it and Craig is up into points. <coughs> <coughs> Beautiful move from Craig. Freezer, 35-2. Some beautiful helicopter camera, but... We're here looking for Craig getting really close to Lars Gaming for P9 now. So really, really getting it. Randall Ulta, he tries to copy. But nothing Kraken just so far, he has to stick behind and just wait for, 
and wait and wait and wait for opportunity. <coughs> Maybe once again into turn number one and yes it says Craig up into P9. Solid move. But now let's quickly run through the standings of what it was in Bahrain. If you don't remember or haven't seen it. Oh, Rome is in P8. As Cheater Cheater is leading the F4 championship so far from Bahrain. Blue Mosquito in second with Deja Vu runs in the top three. With Craig being fourth and Malk fifth. Musical Venom and Frizo sixth and seventh. With Tej who has left, so that's well Tej eighth with three points to his name. Ninth place for Grumpy with three points to his name. Clyde and Sarsper, 2 and 1 points to their names. J for Clyde, 1 for Sarsper, 10th and 11th. And Mike Genetics from Simon, Miles, Saab, LFC, Large Gaming, and Hick all outside the points so far this season. So from in P8, as we were saying, <coughs> and Blue Mosquito pitted. So that is the point where Blue Mosquito pits. As I was just talking about him, Blue Mosquito rejoined in P4. So that's P4. So he's looking good. He's looking good so far for this championship. Blue on mediums, from soft to mediums, actually one stop. Oh, there was from Wink laying down on track. Don't know who's that from, but it's not looking good as Blue Mosquito catches up to BWA Clyde, who is eight seconds behind leader. And Clyde and no, that's Malk in the pit. So Blue Mosquito up into third with Clyde in second. But obviously Clyde still yet to pay. What can Clyde do? No, sorry, that's Warren Hig yet to pay once again. As he is on super soft. As I'm looking here on telemetry. A uh, big battle for fourth. But Sap is kinda of pulling away from Cheater from and Craig. Craig on super soft though. <coughs> Freeze is not behind Grumpy. So Frizo, I think he better once again. This is actually the closest battle to be honest. The battle we're witnessing just now between Blue and Clyde is the closest battle out on track there. So we'll keep you updated with the other battle for fourth place between Sap, Cheater, From and Craig. But they're quite separate between each other as Blue Mosquito has a really really nice run on BWA Clyde DRS will be activated and it's even before the DRS Blue Mosquito gets the move down for second place he moves up into second and has an 8 second gap to the leader who is Warren Hig but he is yet still to pit as this is lap 14 So, as I was taking a little drink, we have a 7.8 gap. Can this be decreased? 
It's 7.9, so the telemetry is no lying to me. But it's telling me the wrong lap. <laughs> actually, not really. Well, actually, yeah, it says. <laughs> Oh, fourth and fifth are having a real nice battle. That's Cheater and Sab. They're right behind each other. Cheater and Sab for P4. I would like to remind you. As we have Craig and Froom behind. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. But here comes Cheater. Open. Will it be opening DRS? on this one kilometer straight what can he do? he moves but we can't see and gets a move beautifully beautifully done but some trying to defend on the outside but Cheater just gets the move done perfectly spot on P4 for Cheater beautiful move as we go back to From and Craig who are behind each other as well As Craig and Froome are battling it out. Sub is not too far ahead as well. So Sub might be making a slight mistake of not pitting quite late on, to be honest, on mediums. But it's good to see how long the mediums can last as Craig is trying to catch up to Frome. And Craig up the inside, he went and gets the move done, shoving from out the way, but good move. So definitely closing to sub now. What is going on? <laughs> Hi, uh. Simu. Sorry, I forgot your name. Yes. Um, Freezer said, "Apologies to Grumpy, lost the re and make Grumpy spawn." So obviously, <laughs> lap one, turn one, really trying to go forever, making nothing out of. Well, ne never mind, I just messed up. Simo uh, says, hey Stem, I am so pissed off with that. Um, it was a good move, but then you just lost it, which is unfortunate. But Craig on Sap for P4, this says. Craig tries to get P4 once again, and yes, he does do that. No Sap! Sap goes really wide, and that might let from, yes, it does let from through. Oh, and there was a Forsini going to the pace. That must be Lars. <coughs> Blue Mosquito is in the lead, and Cheater in second. The gap is 8.3, so Blue Mosquito definitely pulling away.
most likely to be the um, blues gaining time by running newer tires. This is what I think. So currently it looks like that they will both be, at this current state, they will be both on equal points. So that is 16 plus 12, that's 28 points for both drivers. So they will be sharing the first place in the driver's championship. Unless something happens to Cheater. So maybe Craig catches up to him. Because the gap is 4 seconds. Warren Haig went into the pits I believe. As he is now on soft. I'm not quite sure why it says he lost 15 seconds, but I guess that's because he failed. Blue Mosquito 38, 36, 8, so his current best fastest lap. Personal, um, I must say. Best lap of the race, I believe, is from Haig still. But Haig on attack on Throne for P4. I said P4 so many times today. The grid is really close as well. LFC is actually out of the race. <laughs> when that happened? But Haig will go round the outside. What Kim Reckon couldn't do, and that's P44 Born Haig, the current F4 champion, with flying from down in P5 as Musical Venom is catching up to Sap for P6. So this is something from Venom. Last race we seen him, well last week, in Bahrain, we saw him quite active on the track, today we see him being quite passive and now he is lighting up once again, trying to close in to Saab. <laughs> As I go through the snails, snail section, I believe that's what it's called. And Venom really good run on Saab, definitely. The worn mediums are starting to fade away. Even before the drivers, it will be side by side, wheel to wheel. Quite a far distance in between them, but this is P6 for Musical Venom. And Sub doesn't even put any defense into it because he knows Venom's tires are new. So when Venom will be faster as Flying From pulls into the pits, he goes Craig's into the pits as well. Obviously, I can understand for Craig, but I don't understand for From. Maybe he has From wing damage or something. He might want to try and go for supersofts or softs just to get that momentum going. Oh wow. What the fuck? Okay, they rejoin at the same time. I can tell you that. They will go until one of them go goes. And this is this is it. There it is. From and Craig, 9th and 10th. Craig will try and keep around the outside. No, inside sorry for turn two. But he doesn't do it and and throw moves up into P10. Blue Mosquito is still leading. It's 9 seconds now. God, what is happening? <laughs> Clyde is in P10. Mr. Grumpy up into P8. A sub now pits. Grumpy is in P7 now. Mike in 6th, Malk in 4th, Venom in 3rd, so really good job from Venom to be now into P3 as I was saying we haven't seen him a lot this race, now he is in P3, so being passive and not chewing a lot this race is moving him up the grid now he's onto the podium positions as Warren Haig is up into sec uh, still in 2nd with Blue Moon, actually no, where did Cheater go? 
He painted for super soft, so Cheater wants to try and get something out of the he knew he can catch up to uh, blue. So he might try and use the super soft tires to try and close in somehow. Maybe get back onto, onto the podium positions. But can he do it? That's a question. As Haig is in second and is just 13 seconds behind leader. Good save from Haig. Really slippery back end here. It's when 12.2. So Haig actually closing in to Blue Mosquito. So this is why Haig is F4 champion, guys. <coughs> and close to battle is still between Craig and Froome. Some good battle between them two today. That's for P9. That there's a big train up ahead. I can tell you that. This uh, this is goes this train goes all the way to P4. From P8 it's all the way to P4. This is some serious racing, guys. Today, Grumpy in P6. So obviously making his comeback after lap one, but his tires look to be going off slightly. Six laps to go still. Blue is still leading the way. Haig pitted apparently. No, no, that's the other Haas car. That is Dave Javu. So Dave Javu had P3 last week in Bahrain. Now he's last. But Grumpy trying to get a move on. Mike this is, yes it is. Mike is just really trying to focus, just try and pull away, but Grumpy dives into the pits. <coughs> I was just thinking it's not too late of pitting and it's not indeed as Grumpy pulls into the pits and someone blows the whistle from the stadium stands I believe. And this is super soft for Grumpy. Super soft tires. Released and safe to go. Craig now shall fall back from flying from us. From us on super soft. Cheats are behind Mike, so he might try and do something. Now it's obviously as Grumpy pulled out the battle, it's obviously cheaters go to have a go at Mike. And remember what I was saying, Cheater will be closing in towards blue. While well, this is happening, he closed him by 5 seconds. Cheater is doing his best to get close to Mike, but Mike is just driving really well today. And now DRS are open for Cheater. Goes towards the outer line into a 180 hairpin. Will be late on the brakes and gets a P5. So another move for Cheater and now he'll be chasing down Malk. <coughs> I'm, I'm also sorry for any lag. I know what, what's going on.
cheats are really close to Malk. Dave Javi 34.9. Oh, fast lap of the race. Cheater. On the middle mic. No, Malk, sorry. Toxin gets the toe. Javi's floor open. Will be in towards the hairpin. Cheater, 25 seconds now. But does he have enough time to get close? <laughs> 23 point eight. Where's Venom? He's not too far ahead, actually. Cheater could get Venom. In all fairness, Haig is out of reach to be honest now, but Blue will look like to take the lead of the championship today. <coughs> DNF for LFC. Three seconds for Sourcepad, Grumpy, Frizo, and that's it. Freezer, 33 9, fast up of the race. This is basically the time that was set in quality? What the hell? No, in quality was 32, never mind. But still, a very fast time. Freezer on super, so he is definitely going for the fast lap. It doesn't, he doesn't really care about it, does he? He's lapped. He just, ha he just might go as well for the glory of the fast lap. He might just as well, to be honest. Grumpy in terms, so he's still getting a point. From actually busting out for Mike. So the two Red Bulls <coughs> might be getting overtaken. And drop down to P8 and P9. But that's if From and Craig both get past them. Craig loses the backhand but saves the car. Cheater getting close to uh, Venom. Freezer retired. <laughs> he had enough. Or it's thermal damage, I don't know. But he definitely had enough. Oh no, inside this goes. Malk has a 3 second penalty contact between the two of them. But. From gets a move done. I saw that Craig get a move done. Craig and from both got the moves on. Head up Frizu, it's not over yet, this is the only second race of the season. As Craig looking to get past Mike and try and catch up to Froome now. Or let's try and stick with him. Craig wants as many points as he wants this race. Froome is obviously doing a really good job after a disastrous race last week after getting disconnected while leading the race. Craig in a Red Bull sandwich actually, I just, it took me a while to actually realize. But from pulling away, Malk just up the road. Cheats are really close into Venom now. But is there enough time? That is the question. Malk has a, oh, wait, I just remembered. Malk has a three second penalty. So Malk needs to pull away. As, oh, so does Froome. 
Damn it. Froome has a penalty as well. Craig go past Clyde. Now Craig just doesn't need to get a penalty. And he will be fine. Let me check the gap between the two cars. Um, well, between them three. It says... Uh, Craig... 2.7 The telemetry tells me It's Blue Mosquito 36668 So far Venom goes fastest Personal Chaser goes a second faster than Haig At this current state So let's move up As Venom against Cheater on the final lap. Haig is out of reach now, but Haig really close up to Blue, as Blue will be looking to win today's race and take the lead of the championship. From on Mal, can he get it? Can he get the move done? <sighs> this is intense. This is really intense. From behind. This is the final lap drama again, once again, we had it last week in Bahrain, it's happening today as well, but now, can Froome get it? That is the question, can Froome get the move done? On the DRS stream maybe, he ha Craig will get past both of them because of penalties, but can Froome get past Malk? Because they both have a 3 second penalty, so it doesn't really matter who finishes ahead of who, they will keep the same positions, except if Craig getting promoted by 2. Blue Mosquito wins the race here in Shanghai, but this is not over yet. Craig once again gets in the wall in a free wave battle for the for a position on last lap. Happened last week in China. Happening today again. Oh look at this! Oh my God! From and Craig side by side into the final corner. From will go. Craig can he do it? Can he get the? On the line, Froome runs out of fuel and will let Clyde through. P9 for Froome. What a race. Craig promoted into P5. Clyde into P6. Malk P7. Cheater got past. No fucking way. No way. Wait. You telling me Cheater and Venom crossed the line at the same time? <laughs> Cheater got past Venom. I think it could have happened on the DRS tree, the long DRS tree, but Deja Vu finishes the race and this is it. Blue Mosquito takes the victory of the Chinese Grand Prix of Formula 4. Born in Hague. Gets P2 Cheater rounding up the podium with Musical Venom in fourth after a brilliant drive. Craig once again P5 being involved in a last lap drama for this time getting the moves done. Clyde in P7, Malk in P8, Mike in P9, and Flying From to round up the top 10 with Mr. Grumpy, Lars Gaming, Sap, Dave Javu, Frizo. All, no, sorry. Grumpy, Lars, Saab, and Dave Javu all outside the top 10. And Frieza, LFC, and Edge Simo to DNF today. Fast half of the race goes to Frieza at 33.994. Here we go, Blue Mosquito on the podium with Von Haig and Cheater Cheater. Once again, Blue and Cheater gets their get their trophies. This time... It's not Cheater, but it's Blue Mosquito on top of the top of the podium. And there are the race classifications, as I was saying. <coughs> what a race this was. What a race.
Two tens separate them. Two tens. There we go. <laughs> Lars says he was turned into a drift crew on his final stint. Let me invite the podiums into the party. <coughs> as I'm dying as well. <laughs> oh, what a race. And it was Warren Hake, wasn't it? Is he still in line? Yes, he is. Invited all. Oh yeah, Hake, you don't, I forgot, sorry. Um, looks like neither of them is joining both. Um, yeah, I think we could finish it off here then. After a good race. Really good race for our action today, guys. Um, Well, as I was just about to round up the stream, Blue Mosquito joins. Awesome. <laughs> right, um, as you joined, oh. <laughs> we are going to interview you. So, obviously, congrats on your win here today at Shanghai, and you take the lead of the championship now. Is that right? Yep. I assume so, yeah. I won the last one. I think you went the third today somehow. Yep, you are going to be leading the championship by two points if I'm right. Oh wow. <laughs> if I'm right just now. Yeah, I kind of locked into that one though. And, uh, qualified on the, on the softs. Right, seventh. And then, um, I'm not entirely sure what happened at turn one, but. Um, Came out the other end of the snail and uh, found myself in third. So yeah, it was, uh, just kind of all fell into place from there. Cheater pitted for supers, I believe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I was keeping an eye on Hay because he was the 
he was in a rival really for the for the race win and but as soon as he went on to two stop I felt pretty confident about it. Craig was catching me up a lot. Yeah, they were catching me up at the end there. I was kind of taking it easy, but um, yeah, it wasn't too far behind at the end. Yeah, true. Um, well, obviously, you win today's race, puts you into the lead of the championship by two points. Um, do you think that Dave Javu could have had a better race today, or you think that uh, this result will affect you? Uh, well, your team in the Constructor Championship? Um, I don't really know the standings in the Constructor's Championship, to be honest. Um, Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, I'll just keep trying to take home, take home points for McLaren and see how it goes. Wait, I forgot Dave Jovi is not your teammate. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. I don't know. Well, that was a fail and a half. <laughs> but McLaren 12, then 16, that's 28. Zauber having. So you. McLaren should be leading by two points once again, I think. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. hopefully keep that going. Leading two by two points. Yeah, I think that is right. I don't even know. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about. So, um, but yeah. Next race is uh, next race is Russia. Oh, okay. You said that in so much enthusiasm. After that, you just know yeah, you're not looking so forward to it. <laughs> it. Might be my least favorite track, actually. Um, we'll see how it goes. Well, this is where could everything happen. Sochi, real long straights, a lot of corners. Yeah. People saying it's one of the most beautiful and one of the hardest tracks to master in Formula One. But will it happen in Formula 4 next week? We'll find out only by joining the race of myself next Sunday. Same time, same place, guys. This has been Formula 4 with Blue Mosquito taking the victory here today with, and Warren Haig, the F4 champion, in second and Cheater, Cheater finishing third. Blue Mosquito takes the lead of the Drivers' Championship by two points and... McLaren take the lead of the Constructors by two points once again. I've been Mr. Stim. I had Blue Mosquito with me today in the press conference room. And we'll see you next week. Have a good time and until next time. Goodbye.